Hi, my name is Billy D'Addario, and I am a romance writer. Um, and today I'm going to talk to you about a book called I'm Fine and Neither Are You by Camille Pagan. And I just finished it. It is a great novel. It wasn't exactly what I expected because it came up on my um, Amazon feed after I had read a romance novel, a modern romance novel. And so I expected it to be a modern romance. And, and it was kind of, it had a happy ending and it had some of the same tropes that romance novel has, but it wasn't a traditional romance novel. This here um, asked questions about YouTube and, and in, you know, YouTube influencers and things like that. And are they really what, what you think they are? Um, it, and it asks questions about suicide, um, the opioid crisis. It has asked some really heavy questions. It was much, much more heavy hitting than I expected it to be. Um, and so, but it was still a very good book and I really did enjoy reading it, but it just was not what I expected. Um, it's about, and there's going to be some spoilers. So, um, it's about... Um, Penelope, um, what's Penelope's name, her whole name, Penelope, and I don't have her full name written down here, it's about Penelope and her friend Jen Sweet, and they, Jen Sweet is a, a YouTuber and a blogger, and everybody thinks her life is all together, and that she has the perfect husband and the perfect life, and it turns out that, that she doesn't, but nobody realizes that she's got problems. Nobody realizes that she's, that she's in trouble until she accidentally overdoses on opioid pills. Um, and Jen, or not Jen, but Penelope has a really hard time with, with the whole situation because, because she, or Penelope thought that they shared everything, that, that there were no secrets between them, that, that Jen, that Jen was an open book to Penelope and come to find out there were secrets. There were things that, that, that were unknown to Penelope and, you know, it, it wasn't quite fair to Penelope is what Penelope kind of feels like. Um, So the book just goes through how, how Penelope comes to grips with Jen's death. And in the meantime, Penelope just, just decides that her own marriage isn't that great either. And how she, how she becomes more honest with herself and with her husband and with her boss at work and with just everybody that she comes in contact with her father and how, how it turns out for the better for her how the honesty really improves her life. Um, and she feels like if, if um, Jen would have been honest, it would have been better for Jen also. Um, so it was a very, it's a very good read. Um, Sanjay, her husband, encourages her to be more honest. That's one of the, one of the things they, they do a pact and, and each one of them gets to say, gets to say, we need to make these changes. And one of the things that Sanjay asks her to do is to, is to be more honest and, and open. And, um, and, and so she, be, she tries to become more honest with him. And she asks him, she tells him that she wants him to get a job because he works from home and he's, he's trying to become a freelance writer and it's not really going very well. He's been trying it for like, I don't know, five years or something like that there. And it just hasn't really gone anywhere. And so finally he decides he's going to get a job and he, he does, he does get a job. It's a better job, but, um, yeah, it's, it's totally, totally one of those things where every, it, it, it turns out better for everyone once she is honest with them. Um, she's honest with her father and her father comes for a visit and becomes part of her life again, a, a bigger part of her life anyway. So, um, it's really a good book and, and I, and I recommend it to everyone. 
I would give it, I would give it three out of five stars. I would give it three out of five stars simply because I would give it four out of five stars. It wasn't, it wasn't my favorite book. It's not something that I would have sought out to read, um, especially because I was looking for a romantic comedy and this wasn't it. Um, but it, it is, a, it is a good read. So I hope you'll give it a chance, give it an opportunity. Again, it is, um, I'm fine and neither are you. And it's by Camille Pagan. Um, and I hope you'll give it a try. Um, tell me what you're reading. Leave it in the comments below. Um, and I hope you'll subscribe, give it this a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks. Have a great day.